Good morning, folks. The sun is getting a bit more active, although doing so without erupting significant plasma in Earth's direction, mostly small pops. We've got articles to hit today, but we'll begin with the small M-class flare event that occurred on the north of the departing sunspot group. Despite its size, its activity level has been relatively low. We're much more focused on the incoming regions on the south and the large plasma filaments that appear to be accompanying them. Those present an eruption watch for sure. We're heading to seismicity. Just a bit ago, we had the second seven-pointer in a week. First one hit Papua New Guinea, and this one strikes Vanuatu. It was subsequently downgraded to 6.7, but that still makes two bigger events in the last week in the West Pacific. First article on the docket is one of the triggers for the Little Ice Age and how major change triggers are happening in the North Atlantic again now. What's interesting about the article is they don't say whether it will be a hot or a cold trigger, but every study that indicates heat proudly chest thumps the global warming story. Of course, the changes taking place are freshwater melt cooling and freshening of the waters and slowdown of the heat transport in AMOC, which leads to cold. Last night we had this video come out on the DNA changes that create the disappearance of species and appearance of new ones, how they happened in past cycles and how our modern situation is driving towards that reality once again. Check it out if you missed it. And we've got two follow-ups this morning. First one is discussing the processes on the sun that help create those cosmic particles that comprise a major portion of the radiation regime. And the second one is a bit of a double dose of information. They are noticing increased radiation hitting aviation altitudes. Several events on record now and they began in 2015. What's interesting is they are only guessing at the cause. Cosmic ray cascades, geomagnetic storms, they can't rule anything out. But one thing they don't look at is the weakening magnetic field. Truly, if these events had been happening before, they would have been noticed. They've been highly studying these radiation bombardments for decades. Folks, this is a consequence of the weakening magnetic field. The dangerous penetrations have begun. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn more about the ongoing radiation changes and weakening magnetic field of Earth with the disaster playlist below the video. This is the biggest story you aren't hearing about on the news. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.